ओके डेयर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम हाइड्रोजन एटम प्रोग्राम के सॉल्व करेंगे हाइड्रोजन एटम्स व्हाट इज द हाइड्रोजन एटम्स वी नो द हाइड्रोजन एटम्स हैव वन इलेक्ट्रॉन वन प्रोटॉन ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट्स हाइड्रोजन एटम कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन प्रोटॉन हैविंग चार्ज E positive and neutron having charge charge E negative E negative bounded in electro static force of attraction show the potential energy for a hydrogen atom is given by q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught times r this is the charge of q1 is the charge of the electron and q2 is of the charge of the proton divided by 4 epsilon naught time r square this is the an electron is negative so minus e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught times r okay now we have the schrodinger wave equations we have schrodinger wave equation in spherical polar coordinate system is what is polar coordinate systems 1 by r square del by del r r square del psi by del r plus 1 by r square sin theta del by del theta sin theta del by del theta plus 1 by r square sin square theta del square psi divided by del phi square plus twice mu by s cut square e minus v of r psi equal to 0 Okay students what is the mu here mu equal to the mass of proton reduce mass of proton and reduce mass of the neutron divided by the this is the reduce mass of the hydrogen atoms reduce mass of hydrogen atom Let's say this equation is given by one. This is the complicators. This is in r. This is r theta and psi. This is also r phi theta and psi. So let us introduce. Let us introduce. method of variable separation method of separation of variables method of separation of variables so psi of psi of 
R theta phi equal to R of R into Y of Y of theta n phi. This is equal to R y. This is the variable separation methods. After then, after then psi equal to R of y using in equation 1 then we get what is the equation 1 this is an equation 1 1 by r square del by del r r square del psi psi means r of y divided by del r plus 1 by sine theta r square del by del theta sine theta del psi psi means r of y divided by del theta plus 1 by r square sine square theta del square psi means r of y r divided by del phi square plus twice m by h square square e minus v of r this is psi means r of y equal to 0 okay students look at here this r is the function of r r is the function of r r is the function of r and psi is the function of theta and phi look at here look at here this is the and derivative of r this is in constants y and this is take outside the derivatives y by r square del r by del r square r square del r by del r plus 1 by r square sine theta del by del theta look at here this is the angle of theta so psi is y is the theta and phi so let us take outside the derivative r so r look at here r by r square sine square theta del by del theta sine theta del y by del theta plus and this terms uh, 1 by r square sine square theta this is the phi so y consists of theta and phi take outside the derivative r and del square y by del phi square plus twice m by s cut square e minus v of r of psi this is the r y is the psi now dividing r y we get this term is divided by r y we get y y cancel 1 by r r square del by del r is oh no del by del r del by del r r square del by del r plus the r is the cancels so 1 by y r square sine theta del by del theta sine theta del psi by del theta plus this is also r is the cancel so 1 by r square sine square theta dividing by the r y and the 1 y y is still here del square y divided by del phi square plus twice mu by s square square e minus v of r equal to 0 this psi of r is the cancel by dividing the r of y this is r of y and this is r of y cancel each other now we write the term whose consist of r in one side and another side consist of theta and phi so 1 by r 1 by r square del by del r r square del r by del r plus here is the r so we write this term with these terms 
so 2 mu by s squared square e minus v of r equal to look at here students 1 by y is the common here in two terms our, um, this is in left side 2 go right side this is minus 1 by y 1 by y common 1 by r square sine theta del by del theta sine theta del psi by del theta plus 1 by r square sine square theta del square y by del phi square del phi square Okay, students, the terms r square is also common here, r square is common also here, so take this outside, here is an r square is r square is cancels, cancel each other, and this is not an r square, these terms, though, we write there r square equal to lambda c now look at here I say one things for you and this again becomes what types this here I write 1 by r del by del r r square del r by del r plus 2 mu r square by h square square e minus p of r equal to minus 1 by y 1 by sine theta del y del theta sine theta del y by del theta plus 1 by sine square theta 1 by sine square theta del square y by del phi square equal to lambda she this equations in LHS part depend only on R depend only on R and the RHS part is depend only on Y Y means the theta and phi consist of Y so this is depend on theta and phi here here LHS part is only in R and RHS part RHS part only in theta and phi from this this is consists of R so we can say this is the radial part and this consists of theta and phi this is called the azimuthal parts Therefore, therefore, the radial equation is the radial equation is 1 by r del by del r r square del by del r plus 2 mu r square by s square square e minus v of r equal to lambda. After this simplification, we get the 1 by r square del by del r r square del by del r plus twice mu by s cot square e minus v of r equal to lambda r after this 1 by r square del by del r square no del by del r r square del by del r plus 2 mu by s cot square e minus v of r minus lambda lambda here is 1 by r square this is r square lambda lambda r squares lambda r square how this is divided all by r square so there is r square minus lambda by r square of r is the common take common outside this is and the radial equations this is the equation star this is the radial equation star
this is C. Equation is star. And and the azimuthal equation is angular equations and angular equations is how much angular equation is minus 1 by r look at there this is an angular equations minus 1 by r 1 minus 1 by r 1 by sin theta del by del theta sin theta del y by del theta copy here copy here this 1 by sin theta del by del theta sin theta del y by del theta plus 1 by sin square theta del square y by del phi square what is this What is this? This is the mistake. This is del. Okay. Del phi square equal to lambda. After simplification this, we get 1 by sin theta, del by del theta, sin theta, del y by del theta, plus 1 by sin square theta, del square y by del phi square, equal to minus lambda so take this this side equal to lambda y equal to zero this is the angular part this consists of theta and phi again using the variable separation methods again using the variables separation methods psi of theta comma phi equal to theta this is the capital theta of theta and this is the capital phi of phi equal to theta of theta and this is the capital phi this is the capital phi then we get phi by sin theta del by del theta sin theta del theta by del theta plus this is delta theta divided by sin square theta and del square phi divided by del phi square plus lambda theta phi equal to zero dividing by this r this theta of theta and phi of theta and multiplying by and multiplying by sine square theta we get sine theta by theta del by del theta sine theta del theta by del theta plus 1 by phi capital del square phi divided by del phi square plus lambda sine square theta equal to 0 after then look at here carefully please dear students subscribe my channels if you are not subscribed 1 by del sine by sine theta del by del theta sine by sine sine theta by del theta by del theta this is same equal to minus 1 by okay this is and the theta term so uh, look at here so plus lambda sine square theta equal to minus 1 by phi del square phi by del phi square equal to m square say now thus the theta equation is thus theta not phi equation is thus the phi equation is 
del square phi by del phi square plus m square phi equal to 0. This is the second order differential equations. This equation is star double star. This double star equation is the second order in equations. So its solution becomes the psi equal phi equal to i n t equal power i m phi plus minus. Okay, this is uh, equations one. This is the constant A, so we normalize this equation 1. Normalizing this equation 1, is phi star phi d phi equal to 1 integration over, this is the angle, so the angle is 0 to 360, that is 0 to 2 pi. After this, we get a equal to 1 by root 2 pi. Therefore, phi equal to 1 by root 2 pi equal power i m phi plus minus. Look at here. This is m. m equal to the magnetic quantum number. Magnetic quantum Magnetic quantum number. Magnetic quantum number. So we have the magnetic quantum number running from plus minus zero plus minus one dot dot plus minus dot dot, dot. plus minus two plus minus three dot dot. dot. Okay, listen here, dear students these conditions that azimuthal wave function phi azimuthal wave function phi must be single valued everywhere will be satisfied only where m equal to zero positive or negative integer hence the azimuthal wave function is the solution of the azimuthal wave equation for a given values of m this is the azimuthal phi is the azimuthal angles so therefore the value of m say phi of m of phi equal to 1 by the 2 pi equal power i m phi why why this why here is not right plus minus plus minus this sign because of the phi must be single value everywhere will be satisfied only when m equal to 0 positive or negative integer listen here psi must be single valued everywhere so when m equal to zero m equal to positive and m is the negative integer will be satisfied so we not write here is m plus minus sign okay students next day i will solve the theta equations and real equations watch more my videos subscribe my channels and further say i solve the total complete wave functions for the hydrogen atoms thank you my watching my videos and please subscribe one button dabado tumari kuz nai jata okay thank you